Members of parliament were today treated to an unusual sequence of events when four ministers were called up to answer queries on matters concerning their offices and were nowhere to be seen. Some of the business on the order paper had to do with queries from the finance and tourism ministries. Earlier, the woman MP for Dokolo District, Cecilia Gual, had told the speaker that it was becoming common for the front bench on which the cabinet minister sit to be empty. The way cabinet members are behaving is directly impacting on the performance of parliament. A few minutes later, one of the ministers was called to table some documents. The Prime Minister, Dr. Ruhakan Rugunda, then stood up and promised to deal with the ministers. This is definitely a and becoming a performance, <laughs> this does not correctly reflect the vibrancy of the government side. As head of government business, I will have to deal with this matter. The MP said the matter of absenteeism is fast becoming the norm and action must be taken. I think they're disoriented. Even when they turn up, you can actually see their body language, the depth of their explanations is very inadequate and insipid. Every time, no ministers should attend one meeting when there are two. I think COCA should be a solution to some of these issues. The Ethics and Integrity Minister, Father Simon Lokodo, disapproved of this manner. They have shown a sense of no dedication, commitment, and really I, 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 I feel they should be someone for display. This is not the first time that the absence of ministers from the House when they are supposed to present matters which raise queries and debate has been frowned upon. In the past, this unexplained absence has threatened to bring business in Parliament to a standstill. More research all, NTV at Parliament.